The Cascade Range, a picturesque chain of volcanic peaks, stretches majestically across the Pacific Northwest. This stunning landscape with its rugged mountains and verdant forests is a testament to the raw power and beauty of nature. These volcanic peaks dominate the skyline of the Pacific Northwest, creating a dramatic and awe-inspiring backdrop for the region's bustling cities and serene wilderness areas. Among these majestic giants, Mount Rainier reigns supreme, standing as the tallest and most iconic of them all. Its snow-capped peak soars to an impressive 14,410 feet, a beacon of natural grandeur visible from miles around. To the casual observer, it stands as a symbol of tranquility and natural splendor, a serene giant that has watched over the land for millennia. However, beneath its serene exterior lies a slumbering giant, a volcano with the potential to awaken and unleash unimaginable fury. Capable of unleashing unimaginable fury, this dormant volcano holds the power to transform the landscape and lives of those who dwell in its shadow. What if tomorrow this sleeping giant were to awaken? Imagine a day that begins like any other, with the sun rising and casting a warm glow over the Puget Sound region. The morning light bathes the landscape in a golden hue, and people go about their daily routines, blissfully unaware of the impending catastrophe. The sun rises, casting a warm glow over the Puget Sound region, illuminating the tranquil waters and bustling cities. People go about their daily routines, commuting to work, walking their dogs and enjoying the peaceful morning unaware of the impending catastrophe that looms just beyond the horizon. Then without warning, the earth trembles violently. A deafening roar echoes through the mountains as Mount Rainier erupts, sending shockwaves across the region. A deafening roar echoes through the mountains as Mount Rainier erupts, spewing forth a towering column of ash and gas into the atmosphere. Spewing forth a towering column of ash and gas into the atmosphere, the eruption sends a plume that can be seen for miles, darkening the sky and casting a shadow over the land. The initial blast sends shockwaves across the region, shattering windows and triggering landslides. The ground shakes with a ferocity that leaves no doubt about the power of the eruption. Shattering windows and triggering landslides, the eruption's force is felt far and wide, causing debris to tumble down the mountain slopes and altering the landscape in an instant. A thick blanket of ash begins to fall, enveloping everything in a grey shroud. Streets, homes and forests are quickly covered in a layer of volcanic ash, transforming the familiar into the surreal. Panic grips the region as people scramble for safety, their lives thrown into chaos. The once peaceful morning is now a scene of frantic activity and desperate attempts to escape the ash and debris. Their lives thrown into chaos, people seek shelter wherever they can, trying to protect themselves from the falling ash and the dangers that come with it. The eruption of Mount Rainier would be a disaster of unprecedented scale, forever altering the landscape and lives of those in its path. The devastation would be immense, with entire communities affected and the natural environment transformed, forever altering the landscape and lives of those in its path. The eruption would leave a lasting impact, with homes buried in ash and the once vibrant landscape turned into a desolate wasteland. The purpose of this essay is not to instill fear, but to explore the potential consequences of such an event. By understanding the risks, we can better prepare ourselves and mitigate the potential devastation. But to explore the potential consequences of such an event, by understanding the risks, we can better prepare ourselves and mitigate the potential devastation. Knowledge and preparation are our best defences against the unpredictable forces of nature. By understanding the risks, we can better prepare ourselves and mitigate the potential devastation. Through education, planning and community efforts, we can build resilience and ensure that we are ready to face whatever challenges may come our way. To comprehend the true potential of a volcanic eruption, it's crucial to understand the forces at play beneath the Earth's surface. These forces are driven by the intense heat and pressure found deep within the Earth, which cause solid rock to melt and form magma. This molten rock is the key ingredient in volcanic activity. Deep within our planet's interior lies the mantle, a layer of hot molten rock known as magma. The mantle extends for thousands of kilometers and is composed of semi-solid rock that flows very slowly. The heat from the Earth's core causes the mantle to convect, 
creating currents that move the magma. This magma, lighter than the surrounding solid rock, rises towards the surface. As it ascends, it can melt and incorporate surrounding rock, changing its composition. The journey of magma from the mantle to the surface is a complex process influenced by various geological factors. When it reaches the Earth's crust, it can collect in chambers called magma chambers. These chambers can vary greatly in size and shape, and they act as reservoirs for the magma. The magma can remain in these chambers for extended periods, cooling and crystallizing to form different types of igneous rocks. Over time, pressure builds within these chambers. This pressure is caused by the continuous influx of magma from below, as well as the release of gases dissolved in the magma. The pressure can become immense, creating significant stress on the surrounding rock. When the pressure exceeds the strength of the surrounding rocks, a volcanic eruption occurs. The eruption can be explosive, sending ash, gas and lava high into the atmosphere, or it can be effusive, with lava flowing steadily from the vent. The type of eruption depends on the viscosity of the magma and the amount of gas it contains. The molten rock, now called lava, erupts through vents and fissures in the Earth's surface. As the lava cools, it solidifies to form new rock, gradually building up the structure of the volcano. The landscape around the volcano can be dramatically altered by these eruptions. The intensity and duration of an eruption depend on factors like the composition of the magma, the amount of gas it contains, and the size and shape of the magma chamber. Magma with high silica content tends to be more viscous and can lead to more explosive eruptions while low silica magma produces gentler lava flows. Volcanic eruptions are not isolated events. They are part of a continuous cycle of geological activity. This cycle includes the formation of magma, its rise to the surface, and the eventual cooling and solidification of lava. Over time, this cycle can create large volcanic mountains and islands. Plate tectonics, the movement of large plates that make up the Earth's crust, play a significant role in this process. The boundaries between these plates are often sites of intense volcanic activity. For example, at divergent boundaries, plates move apart, allowing magma to rise and create new crust. The Pacific Northwest, situated on the volatile Ring of Fire, experiences frequent volcanic activity due to the interaction between the Juan de Fuca and North American tectonic plates. This region is home to some of the most active and potentially dangerous volcanoes in the world. Understanding the science behind volcanic eruptions allows us to better interpret warning signs, predict potential hazards and develop effective mitigation strategies. By studying the patterns and behaviours of volcanoes, scientists can provide valuable information to help protect communities and minimise the impact of volcanic disasters. The eruption of Mount Rainier would have immediate and devastating consequences for the surrounding regions. This iconic stratovolcano, known for its picturesque beauty, harbours a latent power that could unleash catastrophic effects in mere moments. One of the most significant dangers is the eruption column itself, a towering plume of ash and gas that can reach heights of tens of thousands of feet. This column can spread ash over vast distances, affecting areas far from the volcano. This ash, composed of tiny rock particles and volcanic glass, poses serious health hazards if inhaled and can disrupt air travel for days or even weeks. The fine particles can cause respiratory issues, particularly for those with pre-existing conditions, and can also contaminate water supplies and damage machinery. Pyroclastic flows, another deadly phenomenon associated with volcanic eruptions, present an even greater threat. These flows are among the most dangerous aspects of a volcanic eruption due to their speed and temperature. These are fast-moving currents of superheated gas and volcanic debris that race down the slopes of a volcano at speeds of up to 400 miles per hour. The temperatures within these flows can exceed 1,000 degrees Celsius, making them capable of incinerating nearly everything in their path. Pyroclastic flows are incredibly destructive, incinerating everything in their path. They can flatten forests, obliterate buildings, and leave a barren, charred landscape in their wake. Lahars, a word of Indonesian origin, are another major concern. These volcanic mud flows can be just as deadly and destructive as pyroclastic flows. These are volcanic mud flows composed of water, ash and debris. They can form rapidly and travel great distances, picking up more material and growing in size as they move. Lahars can be triggered by the rapid melting of snow and ice on a volcano's slopes or by heavy rainfall mobilizing volcanic deposits. 
The combination of water and volcanic material creates a fast-moving slurry that can be highly destructive. They flow down river valleys with the consistency of wet concrete, destroying bridges, buildings and anything else in their path. The sheer force of a lahar can sweep away entire communities, leaving behind a trail of devastation. The immediate aftermath of a Mount Rainier eruption would be a scene of widespread devastation, with landscapes transformed and communities shattered. The scale of destruction would be immense, affecting not just the immediate vicinity but potentially impacting regions far beyond, requiring a swift and coordinated emergency response to save lives and provide aid to those affected. Emergency services would need to act quickly to rescue survivors, treat the injured and restore essential services. The recovery process would be long and arduous, demanding resilience and cooperation from all involved. While the immediate impacts of a volcanic eruption are undeniably catastrophic, the long-term environmental consequences are equally significant and far-reaching. The massive amount of ash ejected into the atmosphere can have far-reaching effects on climate, air quality and ecosystems. Volcanic ash, when suspended in the atmosphere, can block sunlight, leading to temporary cooling effects on both regional and global scales. The 1991 eruption of Mount Pinatubo in the Philippines, for example, caused a drop in global temperatures of about 0.5 degrees Celsius for several years. The deposition of ash on vegetation can lead to widespread crop damage and disruption of food chains. Ash can also contaminate water sources, making them unfit for consumption and harming aquatic life. The long-term recovery of ecosystems from ashfall can take decades or even centuries, depending on the severity of the eruption and the resilience of the affected species. The environmental consequences highlight the interconnectedness of natural systems and the need for sustainable land management practices in volcanic regions.